This is a small software demo that Proxy has put together to demonstrate some of the algorithms that we are making in our office. This is a consolidation of modules that we have written, some through academic research we are conducting at the Columbia GSAP and others from our practice. We are writing everything in processing, which is an open source platform that allows us to incorporate drawing functions, interface components, computer vision, etc. We are writing object-oriented code, which lets us define different object types and the ways that we manipulate them. Our first module is a graph network, a way of dealing with items and relationships. We have integrated physics into this module, which allows us to rationalize the graph. Springs push and pull the graph into a minimized shape. Items that are highly connected are brought together. This is often called a force-directed graph, and is really interesting in terms of studying programmatic or other spatial relationships. In this case, we are reading a database to create the graph. We have an interest in doing a certain amount of data mining that can be understood through geometry, either for generative architecture or 3D visualization. Points and lines are useful, but we're mostly interested in determining surfaces. So we have a few methods of promoting basic forms of geometry into more complex surfaces. Here, a section plane is cutting through our graph, essentially scanning it and creating a heat map of intensities. We can calibrate this heat map to encourage or discourage connectivity within our polygon. We want to work with form, but we also want to work with topology or the connectedness between things. We can build several layers, each of which is automatically transformed into a polygon and analyzed for area and facing direction. New shapes are shown in relationship with previous shape, allowing us to build up a more complex polygon. In addition to the ISO curve mode, we also have an ISO surface mode, which imagines space as a 3D field of data points which can be wrapped with a surface. Here, the nodes of our graph are being wrapped according to certain variables, each of which we are able to manipulate with the sliders. We are seeing each new piece of geometry we are creating in reference to previous surfaces so we can make relationships between them. Again, the software is intelligent and can dy dynamically determine when to show us a quick preview or when to show a more detailed analytic view. Here we're manipulating the threshold um, again to discourage or encourage connectivity across the polygon. As we create geometry, we have the potential of queuing it into a buffer. This is something we have been doing in other software in terms of creating many possibilities for later testing and evaluation. In this case, we have built it into the software itself. If you find something interesting, queue it into a buffer, but keep creating other variations. This is another way in which conventional software is highly static it encourages you to invest in one particular version. We have embedded certain ways of evaluating form as well as generating it. We have been using various performance modeling software, but gradually we are learning to do this ourselves computationally. One such module is our Raycaster, which shows the interaction of our surfaces and a sun. The intersector runs in its own thread, allowing the software to do the ray casting, which is quite expensive in terms of computation time, while still giving us access to our model. So the results of the intersector are gradually populated to our model and to our screen in the background. Our polygon is gradually shaded according to those results. We also have certain analysis modes in terms of areas, in terms of volumes, and other kind of metrics that we can understand our polygon through. So our software is highly dynamic. Of course, architecture is a problem in time, either its development or its performance. Most critically, its ability to manifest its discursive qualities through geometry should become the central concern of any working platform. We understand architectural software as such, a platform of not merely realization, but development, a space for exploring the multiple responsibilities and potentials of any given geometry.